In this video, I will discuss a BGP for byte AS numbers. Uh, this is one of the topics of, or this is one of CCIE exam topics. So before we talk about uh, BGP AS numbers, I mean BGP for byte AS numbers, I think it's uh, best to uh, review the the uh, public ES numbers like what I wrote here or the the other or the uh, you know the ES numbers <clears throat> so we have this here range this is the public ES numbers and this is the actually this is private <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken yeah private ES numbers or let me check the this here. So private, private, private ES numbers here. <clears throat> yeah, so this here is, yeah, private ES numbers. Yeah, so in this one here, I mean, this, these are the reserved ES numbers. Um, as you can see here, there are more than, I mean, more reserved ES numbers than what I wrote here, this document. So another reserve ES number is this one. This is actually reserved for uh, reserve to use for backward compatibility. This one here, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the public 32 bit ES numbers. So these are all 13, I mean, 16 bit bits or four byte ES, two bytes ES numbers. And this here is four bytes ES numbers. So this is the public ES numbers, and this is the range for uh, private ES numbers or private use. Public, private use, private for use, okay. <clears throat> Reserve for private let me private ES numbers. Yeah, sixteen with ES numbers. Okay, I think that's uh, that's better. Yes. So uh, BGP for by the yes numbers. So there's uh, there's two by the yes numbers, which is this is the range, and this is four by the yes numbers, and this is the range. So basically, my understanding is uh, four by the yes number was created because just like you know public. IP addresses, we were running out of uh, AS numbers. So they decided to uh, create uh, the this these four byte AS numbers. And we have we have this range. Cisco has implemented the following two methods. There's actually three methods. Uh, this, this, there's AS plane. ES dot and there's another which is ES dot plus and it is mentioned here in this document. This one. But Cisco is only using ES plane and AS dot. AS dot. <clears throat> so ES plane is basically the decimal value notation where both ES byte and four byte ES numbers are represented by their decimal value. For example, this here. 
6552 uh, 6 is a 2 by DS number because as you can see here this is within this range this value and this one here is a 4 by DS number because that is outside of the because this is the this is in this range so more than than the more than the two byte is number okay and this here is dot autonomous system dot notation where two byte is numbers are represented by their decimal value and four byte yes numbers are represented by a dot notation for example this is this here is a 2 byte ES number, and this one here is a 4 byte ES number, and this is the this is the dot notation value for this. I mean decimal decimal value for this dotted uh, value. Okay. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the reserve ES trends. We're going to uh, talk about this a little later. And yeah, we can actually configure this later here. This is the configuration that we are going to do for, for that how to configure ESTRONS for backward compatibility. Um, let's talk about how to modify the default output format for ES byte ES numbers from ES plane to ES dot notation value, I mean format. By default, Cisco is using ES plane, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the dotted notation. But uh, in this uh, this video, we're going to modify that default, which is AS plane, and we're make we're gonna make it AS dot notation format. Okay, this is the topology that we are going to use. So let's start configuring. Okay, so I'm going to just configure BGP without uh, enabling BGP AS notation dot. I mean, the AS dot format. Okay, that's R3, this here, R3, and let me go to R4, and actually do the same command. <clears throat> and save. Okay. So we see that BGP has established. Yeah. So we, like I said, <clears throat> this is a four byte ES, and it's it's in ES plane format. So what we can do to change that uh, format is to actually configure this command here. So BGP, yeah, that, and we need to do it on both. Well, you don't have to do it on both routers, but yeah, you see that <clears throat> we see that this is the uh, AS dot format on R3, and if I go to R4 this here is still AS plane let me do this command also 
yeah so this is the remote AS and oops this here is, is still in plane let me do this command as well yeah so in the running configuration it's it's showing the AS dot format on R3 and on R4 it will show the plane format AS plane format yeah so let's let me do the same I mean let me enable AS dot on R4 as well Okay, and now we should see that it is in AS dot format here. So they should be both in AS dot format. Yeah, AS dot notation format. Okay, so next is, or actually, uh, if you want to know how the AS dot, how AS dot is computed. Uh, you can use you can use this formula <clears throat> here. So in our case, um, our ES is this, and it's and the equivalent ES dot notation format is actually 2.0, which is correct right here. All right, next is we are going to configure um, the AS trans ES number, which is this, for backward compatibility. So basically, R1 is an old router and it doesn't have, doesn't support uh, four byte ES numbers. It only supports two byte AS numbers. So we're going to uh, configure the AS trans ES numbers on R1 at shows here as it shows here. So I'm going to R1 and I'm gonna say <clears throat> so let me show you this. Yeah so you see that because uh, R2's AS number is this. Let me also configure R2. So R2 is using a 4 byte AS number, which is actually fine because it does support it. Let me show you here. So R2 is does support ES, uh, does support it. And then I'm going to R1 and I'll just show you that it does not support four byte ES numbers here. The range is only this. So what we can do is basically use this to establish the neighborship between them between AS I mean R1 and R2 and if I go to R2 yeah so BGP has established and let me do okay that is the configuration And that is the configuration. Yeah, so we have to use this uh, reserve AS trans uh, for backward compatibility because, like I said, R1 does not have, doesn't support uh, four byte AS numbers. So I'm actually going to 
also enable BGP DAS dot notation uh, format on R2. And do this command again. Yeah, so going back to the examples here. So 565, okay, yeah, this is correct. This is correct. Okay. And that's it. Um, R1, save. Well, we can verify it by doing that. This is uh, what R1 is seeing. This is the, I mean, this is what R1 is seeing. This is the ES number that R1 is seeing from uh, R2. But in reality, R2 is actually using this or this AS number. <clears throat> okay, and let me do this command also. Yeah, so remote AS1, which is fine. But if I go to R1, Oops. Yeah, it will see this uh, remote ES number. So yeah, that's how you can uh, modify the default format for uh, ES number, ES byte, I mean, sorry for four byte ES numbers from plane from ES plane to AS dot notation. How to modify the default format for ES byte ES numbers from plane to ES dot notation. Let me fix that. And the other thing that we discussed is how to configure the ES trans AS number for backward compatibility. All right, so yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.